Hey everyone, Deadbound here. Welcome back to Sky Balls episode 96 here. We're going to be eating some burgers. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Get to level 58 and make a sword. See y'all in the episode. All right, here we go. Stop the right at the edge there. The gluttony charm <laughs> makes short work of that. The question is, do we go past level 58? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Flexina. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think we go past this. Um, what's going to do now? All right, so. Alloy. Let's go ahead and do... Hmm. Save for you get the next burger gritty, maybe. Eh, that, it doesn't really matter. They, with the with the gluttony charm, we could make all just basic burgers. It doesn't matter how many pieces are like it. It's it all adds up. It's a, it's a it's a set amount. It doesn't scale. So yeah. Uh, how much steel do we have? Quite a bit actually. We're not crafting anything with the carbon at the moment. Um. We have 51 actual steel there. Uh, how much painite do we have? A decent chunk. Okay. Because I don't think we need to do any repair cores at the moment. So I think we're going to do this. Yeah. This is going to... I think this is going to last us a while. We might have to be concerned about netherite scraps, maybe? Hmm. I suppose that's possible. Okay, uh, then we need a bunch of bronze. Like a lot of bronze. But we're going to be crafting these, I think, three or four at a time. Netherite ingot vault plating. Is going to be the goal here. And we, we should be getting to higher proficiency here. Let's do... Let's do four at a time. There's two epics in there immediately. <laughs> There's two epics in there immediately, which is amazing. Oh, sorry, that's a rare. Sorry, I thought that one was an epic for some reason. I mean, yeah, we're at the point where we can use fundamental foci. To work with these things and like a rare is probably good enough as well probably hmm i kind of want to get this to 10 and just see where we're at here maker because we're definitely at a higher level here there's 10.1. All right. That's a lot of rare pluses there. I don't know. That feels like abnormally high for where we're at level-wise. All right. I think Scrappy and Commons can just go away unless there's like a legendary roll on these. Although, can crafted, crafted Armor can't have legendary rolls, right? I don't actually know. That's like one off of max damage, but... Doesn't have enough in the way of prefix suffix. Oh, now now we're talking there. That's a really good implicit. Okay. No. It's a max roll prefix as well. So we're talking 50 damage there. Yeah, it would make sense that the crafted gear doesn't have legendaries on it. I feel like that would be almost too easy. It's also a maxwell shocking chance there as well, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. I mean, neither of these really matter because we're not keeping the implicits on them. So, I think this is one we, we, we rock with here. 
I don't care for any of those bottom effects. So we're going to just do this. So we're looking for a maximum of something. Whether it's chaining. There's, see, there's a max chaining. We would want that to be... I, I guess with chaining, we would want that to be... Undead damage. I like the shocking on that as well. We need more bronze here. Classic. Yeah, see, two chaining, not going to cut it. I think it needs to be the all, the all four, especially with how much more there. Now we're talking 49 damage, plus 75% sweeping chance, plus the 12% attack speed. Like, this is our sword, but upgraded. The nether damage is what we really don't want there. I'm wondering what we can get in addition to sweeping edge and attack speed. What does the nether really look like for Skyblock? Well, something I've never really tested. Uh, it's, it's void as well. It has it has structures, though. It has um, fortresses and bastions. Uh, Great Dane. Sorry, I missed the question. I think we risk this one. Classic. Because we can still hit a 27. Or 4 chaining. See, there's max undead. Okay. Okay. There's 3 chaining. I think 3 chaining could be good. 3 chaining could be good. Uh, what would I want suffix-wise? What can I even get suffix-wise? Durability, clouds, attack speed. I can still get sweeping edge with chaining, which is kind of wild to me. And also do shocking. Shocking is probably good as well. Trash mobs are three to four hit. We have a little bit of damage. No, this this is one we we just we just crafted this one, Leroy. We just crafted this one. Um. Hmm. And stunning, stunning has the stunning. We could do the nucleus thing with as well. Wild to me that you can get the sweeping edge with this, with uh, chaining. Because if you hit everything with the with the sweeping edge, do you get all of the chains? Does anybody know? Like, if I hit a sweeping edge and I hit five mobs, do I get five chains or do I just get one chain? Because I do think that's important. I wonder if I craft that and then try it. I wonder if we get a bunch of uh, test dummies up and running. Oh, you know what I need to, to, to display here? Gold. That'll be perfect. Yes. The other thing is I could also guess I, I guess I could just add random things and keep one empty. And now, I don't think I can add a sweeping edge with the cloud, right? It's literally durability. Am I just going to always get durability on these things because you can't get anything else? That feels possible as well. Okay. Oh, and attack range, huh? All right. I kind of want to try that one out. 
And I kind of want to get this one going for straight damage. Just so we have a backup here. That's pretty good. I just need to get rid of one of the suffixes. Done, I think, right? For, what was the suffix that we got rid of? I didn't even see. It was a cloud, right? Maybe we could put Sweeping Edge on this. Yeah, buddy. Nice. So now we just need to max roll the uh, Implicit here. Um, not quite enough. Definitely not enough. Still not enough. Come on, give us a 26. Ah, 25 is probably worth keeping. Is that what we started with? I think we started with 22, or 19, rather. So that's 51 damage versus our... I forget what our sword is at right now. It's only a little bit more, but it'll be versus our 46. Yeah, no, that's probably worthwhile. And then and it has the undead damage as well. Yeah. So this is probably going to be our sword. Um, all right, let's... I just had that max roll prefix, which was kind of cool. And the max roll shocking, which was kind of cool. But also... I guess we keep that for now. But I think we can get rid of... I think we can afford to get rid of these rare ones. Maybe I'll keep one of these rares. Just to mess with. But we can probably um, Hall of Fame a couple of these. And or get rid of a couple of these. Because they're just not worth keeping at the moment. Although that said, we don't really need the scraps. But again, uh, you know these are, these are good for. Um, we'll keep them in there. Those are good for mob farming. We'll keep them for mob farming. I do want to try this one. I want to try this one. We're gonna bring both into a raid. A raid. We're gonna go bring both into a vault. I want to try this one, but I get the feeling we're gonna just keep using this one. Um, now we do have that unspent point here. We would probably need. Nova upgrade. Now, Frost Nova is better with chaining. Um, which is interesting. To be sure. But the way our, with our setup right now, I don't know. The other thing is like that I think the javelin stuff is also better with the chaining effect because you do conduit, right? So let's go test the base level of the sword. If the base level of the sword feels good, maybe we'll switch into, you know, switch out of some stuff here. Um, although it's just so wild that this only takes one point and it's just OP. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out something here. But I think I'm just going to toss this into, this into Nova right now just to get the radius up. That's honestly what I care about the most. Um, and then we'll go from there. see getting rid of one of those but uh, i'm gonna get prepped up we have one crystal left here do we have any bounties i forget we do right silver scrap scavenger hunt so we're gonna do a scavenger hunt vault um oh that's a really good one i actually kind of want to get rid of this silver scrap one yeah a fundamental focus is nice but it's not like game breaking But working towards this black opal is going to be awesome. In fact, we can even do one that has a skeleton, like a skeleton theme. So we're going to do a sealed mesa or sandy. Do we do sandy or mesa? Oh, oasis also counts too. Yeah, the, anything with drowned has the skeletons as well. So we'll do oasis. Yeah. So we'll do that. Um, coming right up. All right, the debut of our sword here. Oh, I need to do this. So you guys can see the scavenger items. Debut of our uh, attempt at a chaining sword, and then I get the feeling we're going to switch back to this pretty quickly. Well, let's go. Now we have an Idona favor coming in hot. Uh, this is doable. This is doable. Straight vault, no modifiers. We got, we got life leech. I like that. Do you like that? Wasn't full health going in. Classic Dirt Pine. 
Okay, no handed in here. That's kind of odd. Is this a... No, not a Norum. Okay. So we need Living Gilded. This is doing quite a bit. It's doing 63. Our last orb was doing 86. So it's doing 20 less, but like every chain it does is more, right? And it's very rare these days that we have less than... Uh, you know, two mobs out, right? Uh, is this where it's facing? Yes, so it's a south southern facing vault. Let's keep going south. It says 0%. You do get some hearts back from it, though. You don't... Yeah, you're... Not guaranteed, but you do get some hearts back. All right, sick. An ore room is exactly what we need. I'm still one-shotting these trash mobs, so... All right, chaining might be might be the way. Nice. Good amount of Gorge Knight. Oh, we also doubled a seven roll on to die. All right, that was pretty good. Let's try to remember the good, the good, the good rolls as well. <laughs> it's really easy to remember a uh, you rolled a zero. Tough luck. Let's try to remember the time we got 14 Buddha die from one, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Chaining might be might be solid with this with this level of damage implicit, you know? I think it's really the undead doing a lot of work there too. And I can also just keep activating this as well. But yeah, level 65, we're going to be making... Going to be redoing our tools. I don't know if we're going to have the exact same setups that we have now. I'll probably have a generic Paxel for everything, but... Um, I definitely want a Shatterer style. Uh, tool as well, so I don't know. And we might be switching over to like Silk Touch and, and stuff like that. Because the Shatterer style tool, um... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The Shatterer style tool is good for clearing into, like, dungeons as well. So, I don't know. Not sure what we'll end up with. There's so many wooden uh, chest POIs in this ore room, which is unfortunate. I did get them all, right? I get this one? I did not get this one. Okay. And I can still... Hmm. I mean, the other thing is, let's let's test this out. Does it really even make that big of a difference when I could just sweeping edge them, right? That's the, t that's the tough part, too. Like, do we even need the chaining? Is it faster? We have sweeping edge. It's hard to say. There's three. We're up to six, so we need two more. It's really, it's really solid for one room. Really solid for one room. Alright, cool. Let's keep going south. Yeah, I'm wondering at this stage if there's just enough AoE things provided. Gilded. We don't need to worry about it. It's like, it's also just super hard to determine what's faster, right? Because it kind of feels like chaining's faster. But I don't know. One, ch one soul charm. Let's go. You know, it's really hard to say. Definitely a dungeon here. Oh, I haven't been keeping track of the Omegas. How many? How many have we gotten? Two? Nice. Because, like, here, here's the thing. I'm doing more damage right here, right? That was, 50, that was 60 plus 52. Let's 
right? As long as you're hitting all three chains, you're doing more damage per second. But, like, does it matter, you know? It's 62 plus... 62 to 63 plus that, so it's like 100 and... It's about the same, honestly. Is this a double dungeon, by the way? It kind of feels like it might be a double dungeon. Hearings. Ah, uh, oh, that's... I mean, it worked, but it's not where I wanted to go. Grab that. That's above me. Oh god, this is one shotting all these guys. Thunderstorm wise, that's amazing. Love to see that. Okay. More drown hide. I'll take that. Usually it's kind of trolly. Classic. Looking for more ores there. Okay. Let's do a quick scab check here. Still six. One. Uh, and we're halfway down the drown hide. Nice. Let's go. And more living. Creeper eye. Absolutely classic. It's good for the believers, I just... Or, you know, wh whoever's range we're in. But still. I, this feels like there's another dungeon here. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Another dungeon here. What are you? Wooden chest, though? Wooden chest and coins. Not worth my time. Not going to be completing that. If it was living or uh, living or gilded, I'd be about it. But all right, uh, keep going south. That's a good room. I like that room. We do need ores, and honestly, we have this thing now. This is kind of what I want. Oh, and I'm out of mana. All right, we need to go get our mana back. And then kind of own everybody. I kind of want to spawn in everything, too. We just got to wait 30 seconds or so. Kind of give them, get them in a corral, you know? 81 there. Alright, I think we're good here. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Woo! Dead by doing beating with fans. I have met fans. That is not how that meetings go. I, I am not running from a big crowd of people. It's usually a very pleasant conversation. <laughs> if that's how I interpret that. I don't know if that's the proper interpretation of that, but... That's what you meant? Okay, okay. Ooh, nice. 10x pay night. Let's go. Zero on that. Not what I meant to do. Tubium's one we need. Of course, I rolled a zero. Oh, there's another Omega for the Believers. Well done, Believers. Now, after this room, we should have enough here. Drink 
that. Nope. Uh, yup. Somehow. Oh, we're standing on a fence post. Well done, Dead Pine. Over there. That's always awkward. Let me just sneak up into there if I can. I don't know if this has been worth my time. Oh, there's a black opal. Alright, five black opal might have been worth my time. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's do the thing. My goodness, that's satisfying. That is very satisfying. All right. I think this is my last POI in here. We're not going to go downstairs for this one. Where I'm guaranteeing that we're good on the... Uh, yep, we have nine. We're actually very closely, not almost not there. What's this? Oh, is this a gilded room? Okay. Oh, and an elite spider. All right. I actually kind of want the chaining for this one. We got our lightning strike back here. Uh, I don't have my pickup notifier available anywhere. But I will say, it's just, it's top right. And I've just increased the, um... All I've done is increase the, uh... Size by, to five instead of four. And then change it to dark aqua. It still does massive damage. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. So it's top top right hand corner. Hold on. It's it's this configure. Show this for anybody who hasn't seen it in a while. Other configs. Pick up. Uh, client display. Okay. So it's five out of five out of four instead of four. Um, Dark Aqua looks really nice in the vaults. And then it's just top right. That's it. But yeah, this just increases the scale a little bit, so it's a little bit more noticeable. That's it. Oh, and that's the same. I think with the massive mobs, this is doing more work. Rude, sir. Rude. my time fighting mobs. Make sure you pick up those things. Can we open that, please? Exactly one. Uh, let's do this with one shot, some, I guess. All that for a freaking trap chest. 
Seriously? Red scroll. I just don't know how much time this is worth investing in, you know? There's another one. No. Well, we got two. Alright. Let's move on. 12 minutes here to basically get two, two, three, I think is what we need. Because we still need those living chests as well. Just full mana. Just real nice. We might as well use this. Not take these uncontested ones. Cool, Dan. Thank you for the workout. Catch one shot here. Spider Spider is always acceptable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Press escape, then engineer goggles. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the it's the yep. Create mod create configs, but access other configs option. It's quite convenient. Gilded. Another swole charm. Did I just say swole charm? Pretty sure I just said swole charm. Gotta get buff. Uh, there's another dungeon here, but I'm pretty sure that's a wooden dungeon. Based off the looks. Um, but I could be wrong about that. Ooh, got the dark blade transmog. Leech a hundred health. Oh, because we were leeching that much. That's sick. Oh, I'm happy. I'm a happy pine. We got to see what that looks like after this after this vault. Loving that. All right, let's move on. That's really dope. If this is ores, we cannot stay. I don't know if it's ores or not, though. I don't think it is. It's not. That said, if it's nothing but wooden POIs. There's this guy, though. And we know how much I like... Make sure they don't get stuck in the water here. Nice. Alright, I got the favor. I'm wondering if we even bothered with the idols. I'm not even sure if it works, you know, the way I think it works. Like, it's so hard to tell when it's 50 50. <laughs> you know? Nine minutes here. I see nothing but wooden chests. What are you? More wooden chests. Okay. South we go. We need one soul charm. One soul charm, three drowned hide. So, Gilded and Living still. Uh, this is an ore room. We're good on those. Rude. I guess I need to kill skeletons. need those. I, I will skip the ornate. Ah, no, but we get a trinket. Like, the fact that I need trinkets this badly is just telling. There's a, there's a common plus sword as well. I like that. 
All right. Uh, let's do a bounce. Let's go east to the north. No, cake balls are still a thing. They're just not as lucrative. And they really want a duo partner for that. You don't want to do this solo. Or you don't get as much solo. I'm gonna try this. Saddlebag? Yeah. Darn. Nothing else there, right? No. Alright. Down we go. Uh, then we go north. Full health plus our 100% mana regen from the vial. Should get us back up pretty quick. Seeing nothing but wood in here, so we're just gonna keep going north. <sighs> Coffee is delightful. It was the end of the bag, so I put a little extra in, so it's a little more bitter. So I'm a pretty happy pine. One. Two zombie arms. Classic. Gilded. I am hitting all of the wrong buttons here. Red Scroll Goblet. Bummer. Yeah, this is definitely, like, in the realms of possible, but we have to get a little lucky here. Both POI-wise and... Yeah, like, I'm gonna skip those Ornates. Because I think that's important. All wooden there. But yeah, POI-wise and, you know, what we get from the POIs as well. There's Gilded. And Living. There's our Skeleton Bounty as well. There's one Drowned Hide. Hit the spider. It's gilded. So what I'm going to do with this one, I think, is just try to reach the chest until we get a, get the thing we need. I guess we should just kill this if we're that close. Let's drink this. This will be faster if we do this this way. Come on, you're not going to give me one little rare item? Seriously? I barely got any items at all. Alright, well that's rather lame. Rather lame. Man, oh, it's such a bummer. We're so close. That's probably going to do it for us, like, completion-wise here. All right, got to go north.
Yeah, one drowned hide, one one soul charm is what we need. Again, still within the realms of possible. It's just like I said, it's gonna be POI and what the POIs decide to give me dependent. Coins, there's some living, okay. All right, there's our drowned hide. So we just need gilded now. I mean, I can't believe we didn't get one in that in that gilded POI there. That's kind of wild to me. I mean, they are rare. I get that, but like, eesh. I guess I could go back. To, I could have gone back to the uh, the other room. Nope. Uh, nope. That's living. That's ores. That still works. Carlos, thank you for the 420. Good morning. No, I always have a Hunter, Spectre, and Observer because it's just, it's max, it's lowest level. That's all coins. That's living, but we don't need that. That's living, but we don't need that anymore. Are you gilded? I thought I saw gilded. I did. Alright, come on. Red scroll, dude. Red scroll. Yes! There it is! There it is! Alright. No time to lose here. Uh, what was the other one? These guys. I believe there was a handed in the last room. I'm not even messing around with this. I don't even want to mess around with this. Was it this room? We've definitely seen one. You know what? Hunter Observer. There it is. Come on. Oh, I don't have mana. Oh, dude, come on. You're killing me. Alright, we're good. Way too close for comfort there, but GG's. Ooh, baby. All right. I'll take it. Oh, bombardite on our way out here. Remember, I can't take damage right now, so. Whoo! All right, GGs. It's a great vault. That was a great vault. My goodness. Wow. Directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see the omega count. Now we didn't we didn't hand in any omegas, so let's uh let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got five. We got five. Hey, hey, hey Jedi with the twelve month resubarino. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that support. That's a big. Those are big deals right now. The resubs and uh, new subs. Thank you, thank you. So we got five total omega items. Right on the cusp of zero to four, five to nine. Well done. Well done, number twos. All right, uh, I'm gonna get all this set away so we can look at our fancy schmancy loot. Okay, loot time. Let's go. Well, woot to die. Okay, okay. All right, three crates. Oh, so satisfying. That never gets old. That never gets old. Oh, I wanted to say my thoughts on um, these two. So, I think I think this sword is actually good enough that we could undo most of Nova, most of most of Nova, or all of Nova. Maybe maybe have it on freeze just for utility. Get rid of you um, to do more in the masteries. 
that the wild part is the build that we have with the high damage sword is like taking no points at all to use. And that's because of the power of this, I think. Otherwise, we'd have to have a couple points in Nova, right? But then we could do something interesting like like rejuvenation with wrath for like dungeons. You know? Like we could do something interesting there with the chaining, I think. Um at least at this stage, I think there's gonna become a time when the, the chaining is outclassed. But I don't know what level that is. I don't know what level that is. But I, I did find it very interesting. It, it is very, very interesting. And, like, when we get rid of Smite, we can actually reduce these as well. So, I don't know. It, it's it's an interesting thing. And I also don't think the Sweeping Edge is worth on there. I don't know if that triggered the... I don't know if that triggered the chaining more. I might actually do... I might actually have to do some tests on that. Because if that's not a thing, we'd rather have a Cloud there, right? We'd rather have, like, Healing Cloud 2 with the chaining that gets a ton of undead stuff going. And the reason this sword is good, I think, is because of that 20% undead damage. I think that's the only reason it's, like, keeping up even remark, you know, remarkably well. That said, I think I'm going to be using this sword for the, for the time being uh, while we figure this one out. So, I just want to get my thoughts on that. Um, yeah, I just want to get my thoughts on that. I put this in the wrong place. Uh, no, dude. At the vault. Dang it. Had one job. The problem is that uh, all right. Well, the jewels are the jewels are lost to whatever. I can't think I can type in unidentified. Right? Yes. Okay. That's such a bummer. I mean, the gold went away. What else? What else was in there? Uh, the boosters. And mystery. Kind of want to roll that egg. Yeah, we'll have to make a bunch of these target dummies. And then what's the other one? Uh, mod boxes. No mod boxes. And then maybe have some lemons and stuff in there. All right. Darn it. I meant to put it in this one. <laughs> Classic dirt pine. Oops. That does not scroll anymore. All right, cool. Three mystery eggs. I'll take that. Uh, got a little gorge night. That's a really solid vault. That's a really, really solid vault. Oh, we got the new transmog as well. I totally forgot about that. All right. Um, yeah, we gotta we gotta go look at that. Echo gem. Hey, Chad. Thank you for that hype train, by the way. That's a big deal. I really appreciate those so very much. Okay. Uh, let me put this here. Again, I think this sword is actually very good. Let me. Identify all of these things. Uh, we actually have that, Cynthia. We have the we have the RS with specific items. That's pretty good. That's like max roll lucky hit, max roll resistance. What's our shield at right now? It's like yeah, it's Echo not as Jim. good. Okay. Jim, 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 Jim. Echo Jim. Okay. Oh, it's too bad you couldn't make Brian say that, like, progressively quieter. Echo, 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 echo. All right. Um, I'm a silly pine. Uh, this one we might gamble on. Ooh, little legendary item quantity. Deal. We're going we're gonna to be breaking those down later. Smelting these, though. All right, I do want to go check out that sword. That looks new. Oh, is this the? Yes. This is the. This is the. I never have to farm as uh, the blossoms again. That's it. I have plenty from the uh, thing. Um, let's go look at this. I don't know if these fly or not. God, they make terrible sounds. I can't hear him over here, so we're fine. Um, but yeah, these these guys drop. These guys. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll let those farm for a little while. Let's murder some flutters. Yeah. Hey, they go fast, too. My goodness. Yeah, we'll have 20,000 of that in no time. 
All right, I gotta make sure I put that away proper. All right, let's go look at this sword here. Hopefully, it's really cool. I get the feeling it's gonna be something I don't like because I don't like I don't like big, unrealistic, goofy-looking things personally. Yeah. Oh well. Also, though. I'm also not a huge fan of 3D. I'd rather have it like a good texture than it be 3D. But we did earn this. You know what? It's cool enough. We'll use it for now. We'll use it for now. It's it's something I have not seen people use, and I like it. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's cool. It, it's... I see where they were going with, but you're very limited on that stuff. Like, I would have rather this was, like, a smooth texture all the way around and not 3D. And that would have looked dope, right? <laughs> nice, Raptor. Raptor. Raptor woke up this morning and said uh, he chose chaos there. Uh, that's fine. I understand. All right. Yeah. No, that's not bad. Let's do this on that, by the way. That's not bad at all. Like I said, I would rather that came like to a fine tip and not been 3D. But the the crossbar does look cool. Okay, what are we doing here for recording time? All right, I think I'll do that. Let's go do it for this episode, YouTube. Let's go do it for this episode. Um, yeah, we did we did good work there. We did really good work there. We'll put all those away. I probably missed some gems here. Oh, that's not a bad one actually. But uh, next episode, I think, will be a montage episode. Um, yeah, I think next episode will be a montage episode. We're going to craft up as many of these as we can. Um, uh, of course, crystal crafting dependent. Um, we'll try and craft up as many of those as we can. Try and get ourselves um, five minimum. What do we have here? We have none. Yeah, we'll try to get ourselves five of these minimum. Um, and then run all five of them. And then look at all the loot at the end. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, so, thank you for tuning in. Watch these all the way through. Appreciate those who do. Um, I'm going to start saying it now. And uh, thank you very much to those subbing into the YouTube, uh, to the Twitch channel uh, as well. Sharing the primes is great. Does support the content monetarily. But, um, yeah, thank you very much for those those tier one subs. That's a big deal. The new With the new 70-30 split thing on, on Twitch. It's a big part of my income as a streamer. So, if you got the five bucks to spare, I would appreciate that. But if you don't, that is A-OK. -okay. I just appreciate you watching. Seriously, that is the best way to support on YouTube is just watching these when you get a chance. There'll be a playlist popping up here that makes it easier for you to watch. So really appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you next one. Bye-bye.